Beadle Planning. In this video, we will begin to learn how to create, organize and share lesson plans using Beadle Planning in Microsoft Teams. Once you have installed Beadle, you may add a Beadle Planning tab to any channel within a team. In this example, Kara is logged into Microsoft Teams and wishes to add Beadle Planning to her 7S Mathematics team. Clicking on the Teams tab in the navigation bar on the left, Kara first selects her 7S Mathematics team. Then, in the navigation bar on the 7S Team Canvas, Kara clicks on the plus button. Here, Beadle is shown in the recent list. Alternatively, a search will find it. Kara clicks on Beadle and installs the tab by selecting the radio button next to Planning and clicking on Save. A new canvas opens in the general channel, containing Beadle planning for Cara's 7S mathematics team. A time-based structure is provided by default. In the left-hand pane of the canvas are the lesson plans. Think of these as folders which may contain the details of each lesson and which may also contain other such folders. The right-hand pane of the canvas shows any files that the selected plan contains. Kara edits the time-based plan by clicking on the ellipsis and selecting Rename, making changes and clicking Rename to confirm. Note the indent here indicates the hierarchy of plans, such that the academic year plan contains plans named Term 1 and Term 2, and Term 2 contains plans called Week 1 and Week 2, and Week 1 contains plans called Monday, Tuesday, etc. with corresponding dates. Kara sees that Week 1 currently contains no plans beyond Tuesday the 5th of January. To add a new plan below this, Kara clicks on Week 1 and from the ellipsis selects Add new plan below, naming it Wednesday the 6th of the 1st. Note that this date is for reference only and not yet linked to the calendar. However, this plan has been created at the same level in the hierarchy as week 1 and week 2. To move the plan for Wednesday down one level in the hierarchy, Kara clicks and holds on the plan and drags it to the right. Kara can see from the vertical alignment that the plan for Wednesday is now within week one. Note that the plan can similarly be moved up one level in the hierarchy by dragging it to the left. Alternatively, Kara could click on Add New Plan in the bottom of the left-hand pane of the canvas and drag the new plan to the correct place in the hierarchy. Or, more simply, to click on the ellipsis next to Thursday and select Add Plan Below. Next, Kara adds files to her first lesson plan by clicking on Add First File within the selected plan. Kara could create a new Word, Excel or PowerPoint file without leaving Beadle. But as she has previously prepared lesson materials, instead selects Upload and navigates to files saved on her computer. The two files selected are now shown and selecting each provides a preview on the canvas. Kara decides to leave a note for herself as a reminder to collect in homework using the Notes feature at the top of the plan. Notes made here will be visible to any teachers viewing this plan. Next, Kara adds the plan to her Beadle calendar, selecting the appropriate date and time. A green circle indicates that the plan has been added to the Beadle calendar 
the enclosed number indicating the number of calendar entries linked to this plan. Now, clicking on the calendar, Cara sees the entry on this date, and a link provides the option to move directly to the plan from the calendar. Cara can also view plans in any other team by clicking on Show All Channels and selecting the required team and channel. Please see the next video in this module to learn more about creating, organising and sharing lesson plans and resources using Beadle planning in Microsoft Teams.